Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Warped! We're playing as Coco, the entire game, if I can help it, because Coco... Coco's adorable. This me, Coco! You blind bitch! I still went Orc Fork. <laughs> I regret nothing. Anywho, let's begin. Running from a dinosaur. Ah, wait. There we go. I don't even think I need to break the boxes because that giant thing is gonna be doing it for me for the most part. But you know what? I'm gonna still try to break the boxes myself, just in case. Aha! Because then I still get the reward for them. Like that thing there. How about we doing it again? Yes, we are. Okay. Eh. It's been a long time since I had to die. Uh, shit. It's been a long time since I had to run from a dinosaur. Uh. It's pretty faithfully made. Like, they stuck to everything else. They stuck to the exact, like, everything from the original game. This is, this is a good remake. I think I've said that before. But I, to re-emphasize, to emphasize, this is a good remake. They did good. Vicarious Visions did a good job. Very happy that they brought this back. Oh my god. So is it just me or is Phil Lamar doing, uh, the voice for Cortex? Okay, for some reason I can't, like, slide into them to kill them. I don't know why. I swear it's Phil Lamar doing the voice of Cortex, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's doing Aku Aku and I can't tell the difference because his voice is different. Okay, yeah, so maybe the sliding does work and it's just not, not as haptic a response. They're not dying. They're not dying as obviously as they were in the PlayStation 1 version. Butt slam! If this were Smash, it'd be a hot shot! But oh well, it's not Smash. Boop! I like how Coco has the exact same moveset as Crash, basically. It's just a cosmetic change. She just really loves her big brother. Going on adventures with her big brother in her in his place. Pulling a big bro crash. Eh. Fuck a yo couch! There we go. I got everything. For the most part. I just got that red gem path that I missed. Which I can come back to later. Say our first rodeo, gathering gems and crystals and stuff. We'll do it. It'll be fine. Better not get slowed down by the grass, though. Ah. Okay, that still counts. That still counts. That still counts. That still counts. There we go. Done. Didn't think I'd get the gem. <laughs> I thought I'd miss it. Uh. Thought I would miss it. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's two gems, right? Because the uh, the red path. Say, look at Coco. She's just having fun being like her big brother. Oh crap! I hate this kind of stage. I don't like these stages. 
But I gotta do it anyway. What's behind me? Nothing important. Okay, nothing at all, actually. Yeah, I don't like these stages. Uh, back in the day, I probably would have attributed to just playing as Coco, but you know what? I don't like vehicle stages. I'm not even fond of the cat stages. They're just not as fun as, like, platforming. I'd rather platform. I'm a platforming bud. I'm a platforming boy. I like the platform. How many boxes? 37? Got it. I just gotta not get hit by a cannonball. And uh, hit every box that I aim to hit, boy. Uh, no, go for the box, please. Thank you. Okay. These bombs don't explode. Unless you're touching them. That's weird. Eh. You'd think they would explode after a time since they're a fuse bomb. Oh well. Maybe they just have a really long few. Fucking hell! This is why I don't like the vehicle levels. If you want to break every box, you got to go through certain jumps multiple times just to get the right jump angle. Like not that. Because you know the fucking bomb needs to stop existing. It's not a fun time. Is this it? That's it. There we go. That's the sweet spot. Shit. There's even some where you gotta, like, fucking dive under to hit. And to dive under it, you gotta, like, take a ramp at just the right speed. And I don't have the speed or patience to do so. Ow. Well, at least you found a pretty goat. Uh, no. Okay. Is that it? No. There we go. Ugh, I don't like this. If it were just a, sp a run to get th to the crystal, that'd be fine. I already got the crystal. That's not the issue. The issue is I don't like getting all the gems on these stages. Uh. There we go. There. Two more boxes. Oh, don't hit anything. Don't hit anything you're not supposed to hit. There we go. Done. I just want a platform. Can I just platform, please? Can Coco fight the bosses? I think it's... She can fight one boss, I know that much, but I don't know if she can fight all the bosses. I know there's, like, one stage that demands Crash. At least one. Okay, yeah, Crash has to fight the bosses. Damn. Except for Engine. Okay. Sometimes he attacks too aggressively. Yes. Well, someone really likes the entertainment, huh? And so do his fellow scientists, who he probably kidnapped. Okay, are they all, like, brown hair, or are they all ginger? They're all ginger in the sunlight. Okay. Not saying that's, like, a derogatory term for people with red hair, but... I find it funny that their entire hair color just changes in the light. Because I thought they were black haired. Hi kitty. Bye kitty. Bye kitty. Bye kitty. Bye kitty. Come on. Come on, tiger. Come on. Done. 
You're already done, son. Just admit it. Bye, kitty. 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 All right. That was easy. Two, three, four, five, six. I thought he attacked. He did that at like every four. Maybe I'm wrong. I got the super belly flop. Boop. Look at that belly flop. That's a big old belly flop. That's a big old belly flop. Everybody do the flop. <laughs> well done, children. Yeah. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Yay. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Yay. Thank you for not being creepy. It's still very creepy for them to talk to you like that. I don't know if I like that. Uh, it, it's still a little creepy. Just not, just saying. Ah, uh, let's do one more stage. Why not? Oh, and it's a platforming stage, yay! And we get to make Dingo dial. He's got bad breath. Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything. But a good heart, nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. He didn't die. He's gonna appear in Crash Bash and the next several Crash games, probably. He's just in he's just in the hospital, probably. In the villain wing. Go away. There we go. Ah, go away, frog. Boop. Did I? What did I do? Oh, I did a roll slam. Nice. Ah, missed. Give me your hat. I want. I want his hat. It's got physics. Oh my god, I'm kicking it down a hole. I'm kicking it down a hole, and you can't stop me. <gasps> Never- I kicked myself down a hole. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. The world can stop me. Ow. Shit! Sexual harassment! That was actually not cool. Don't do that. Boop. Okay. Try this again. There we go. Got another mask, dude. This should be fine. Now, I can't kick it down the hole anymore, and I'm not gonna try it anymore, because that was dumb of me. But you know what? It, it's fine. It's Gooch, and this pooch. It's gonna continue on through what I assume to be... England. I don't know. I don't know where we are. Some undisclosed kingdom. We're in the kingdom of Mercia. Helping King Arthur find his holy grail or some shit. I don't know. We're good. We're in Camelot. It's a silly place. Go away. Boop. Oh wait, no. I missed. Boop. Boop! Oh, I didn't hit the checkpoint. I wanted to hit the checkpoint with the guy, with the, the goat. Away you go. Mask time! Goodbye! Oh, you're just gonna accept your death, are you? Mm. Fucking hell! 
I need to slide jump more often and remember that it, that slide jumps get me further. Slide jumps do get you further. And they also double as an attack, so if you're... Shit. So if you're about to get fucked in the butthole on your way over, you can just slide into them and then be done with it. Maybe slide jump spin. Like that. That's all you need. Boop. See that? In the pro strat, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Hit. Thought I heard someone call for help, but it's probably not. Bonus stage. Give. Give to dude. Give to dude. Okay. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Not another box here, is there? I keep thinking that boxes that are lined up like that, where there's like a bouncy pad and then there's that. Oh shit. I fucked up. I fucked up. I gotta I gotta go I gotta go down below now. <sighs> I done fucked up. I know how to do this now. I keep forgetting this is that one stage where the bonus stage has you going through that one box there, and then you gotta hit the trigger, the trigger box. Whatever it's called, the exclamation box. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. But yeah. Situations like this, where there's a box above a bouncy crate, I keep thinking the bouncy box, the the crate there is like hiding something. Like you gotta bounce on that top crate before you can uh, get all the boxes, because there's probably like one hidden, and you'd never know if you didn't like bounce up on there just out of curiosity's sake. Maybe you came in at the bonus stage at a weird angle and you just noticed it. You know? There's probably like one or two bonus stages like that and you wouldn't even know otherwise. Oh, there's two guys having a sword fight. Bye! Hit. And done! Good thing the relics are optional in this game. I keep thinking like it's not. Well, you have to get all the relics in order to seal Uka Uka away in the end. You just gotta get the gems. How do I think about it? I can't, I can't do the dance sitting down. It's weird. I want to. I can't. I could try. Nothing's stopping me. Alright, we're gonna end the episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, let me know what you think in the comments below, and thank you to Shrone Leviel for supporting me on Patreon, and thank you to Whirlybird and Zerino Burrito for supporting me on Twitch, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!